Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude the quarterfinal round of the Kakashin Clash Tournament. And what a mighty clash this tournament has been thus far. And we have three more mouthwatering encounters to go through before the semi-final round. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first match in this session, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we got the stupendously awesome, amazing Asian Ceratopsid, the Adana Ceratops. Beautiful, isn't that? But I feel like it's in for a tough match because in the blue corner we have got the one and only, the orange local hero itself, the Polar Canthus. This Polar Canthus will have type advantage over the Udanoceratops as well, and I think that is probably going to swing this match in his favour. So yeah, I fully expect Polar Campus to win this match, but, but, you never know in these tournaments, anything can happen. Ooh, good start. A lightning spear right off the bat. Well, it won't do as much damage as it normally would, but it will still do some damage. Respectable. Oh, and I, for I actually forgot it's got elemental power as well, so it's got some protection. Maybe this won't be a lost cause for a down a set of tops. I'd probably say he's got the upper hand with ties as well, so maybe, maybe a down a ceratops can pull this off. Ooh, what have we got here? We got another hit coming in. Not much damage, but. Polar Canvas, one hit away from losing. Oh, that's another tie. Can Polar Canvas land a blow? Nope! The Danoceratops doesn't allow it and takes a 1 0 lead. Well, can as I said, one win, one more win, and a Danoceratops will book his place in the semi finals. But let's not count Polar Canvas out yet. It can easily turn this match on its head. So let's get on with round two. Right then, round two. And we're in the Colosseum. Will Polar Canvas pull itself together, or will Adanis Eratops continue its impressive start? Five. Ooh, Polar Canvas landing the first blow this time. And yeah, you can see the difference. You can see the difference in the damage already there. Not even a crit, and it did that much damage. A crit will probably kill a Danoceratops. But a crit is not what Polar Canvas gets. Instead, the Danoceratops lands another blow. But yeah, look at that. Without elemental power, this thing can barely do any damage to Polar Canvas. Ty, now Ty's as I said earlier, could help him. Ooh, that's the reformer's effect as well. Look at the damage. Now all of a sudden, Polar Canvas in the driving seat. Okay, yeah, I think Polar Canvas is going to... Yeah, there it is. Polar Canvas, quick as a wink, even in the score. Well, wow, he has beautiful green eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> He's like a pumpkin dinosaur. Right. Let's move on to our deciding round between these two, shall we? Well, we are on to a deciding round between these two. Polar Campers did get his act together in that second round, so a Danoceratops better watch itself. I'll tell you what else, little teaser. My big tournament is in the works. Nice little tease for you. <laughs> I love it. Yes, it's in the works. The the built the, the, the bones are being put in place, as they say. Oh, it's a tie. It's crucial. That first hit could have been crucial from the dinosaur tops. Another tie. This is Paul's favourite other dinosaur tops at the minute. Oh, another hit. That will max up elemental power as well. Cat Willow Danoceratops win the match. I 
I, well, a tie will be enough to kill Polar Canvas, but... Oh, there's one to buy. A lot of ties here. That's really helped the Danoceratops take control of this match. And yet, there it is! Polar Canvas gone! It dominated against the Pianitskisaurus in the first round, but a Danoceratops used the ties to his advantage to get free to the semis. Well, I, I consider that a bit of a surprise result because I thought Polar Canvas was going to win. But I was wrong, as I usually am. Right then, let's get on with our second matchup, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we've got the orange Triceratops, or as I like to call it, Triceratops Horridus. This, the hidden Triceratops, hidden from the world. Well, it wasn't really hidden. It, you know, we saw its we saw super we saw its super version and the Dino Tetris version, but the OG one, the, the vanilla one, was hidden from us. However, one dinosaur that isn't hidden in the blue corner is Lambiosaurus Magnacrustatus. Proved a handful in, proved a handful in the first round against Ulura Titan coming from behind. In fact, both of these dinosaurs got come from behind wins. Ooh, this one's going to be a tough one to call. There's two golds. There's two golds going out. This is going to be a tight match. Well, not with a start like that. Triceratops Horridus getting a crit. Boosh. Not bad damage. Not bad. Lambiosaurus Magnacrustatus kind of tanked it pretty well there, but the attack boost will change that. Ooh, the Magnacrustatus getting off a skydive. The Quest is coming in. Boosh! And boosh! Twisties and boosh! Okay, not a kind of little bit. Not much damage dealt there. Ooh, but this Kamikaze tackle is going to do a lot more damage. And it has the attack boost buff as well, so even more damage than last time. And just like that, the Horridus on the brink of winning. Well, taking a 1-0 lead. And yet, 1-0 lead secured with a lightning strike. Yeah. <laughs> Down goes the Magna Crusaders, and it's Trice and this Orange Triceratops, 1-0 up. Right, on to round two then, shall we? Okay then, round two between these two golds. Will the tri Orange Triceratops continue its fine form, or will Magna Crusaders come back into this match? Ooh, it's Magna Crustatus landing the first hit this time. And yet again, it's a skydive. The Triceratops gets picked up by the Quetz because, yeah, that would happen, wouldn't it? Quetz would be able to pick up an animal with, well, about, I don't know, about eight, nine times his weight. <laughs> Ooh, a tie this time. Oh, here comes another skydive. The Quats returning yet again. Flap. 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 Boosh. Magna Crusade is starting well. But not doing too much damage. Oh, another tie. There's the blunder effect from the Magna Crusade. Ooh, and here comes Kamikaze Tackle. This is going to do damage. The orange Triceratops, Kamikaze in his way back into this contest. And it is practically even again. Oh, oh, oh hang on, I moved the screen. Well, all of a sudden... Triceratops on the brink of winning. And that tie will confirm it. Well, Magna Crusaders put a fight in that second round, but Orange Triceratops does it again. That kamikaze tackle proving the turning point. 
And there's the orange Triceratops going through to the semis. Right, on to our last matchup of the quarterfinal round now. Right then, in the red corner, we have got the Edmontosaurus. One of the very last grass dinosaurs to be released. Which is always a surprise to me. Because it's one of the well-known hadrosaurs in this in the dinosaur world. And it did get upset victory against Indosuchus. However, in the blue corner, we've got the Lanzusaurus. The lazy Lanzusaurus left, left it a bit late to beat the Alpha Iguanodon. Decided to slack off in the first round to allow the Iguanodon to take the lead before coming from behind to basically demolish it. Well, this is going to be a very intriguing matchup. Tough one to call, tough one to call. I, I fancy Lanzusaurus, but not by much. Ooh, it's Eddie getting the first hit. In comes the Overactors for the egg attack. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, because that's how egg attack eggs are laid, people. They come out the mouth. <laughs> Oh, that's a crit, and this Edmontosaurus is reform type, so, oh, um, well, that's kind of a letdown. Although I will say, Edmontosaurus' stats are well-rounded, so, yeah. Well, this is domination from Edmontosaurus, and I think this is going to be a 1-0 lead for Edmontosaurus. Yeah, surely it'll be 1-0 up. With the, uh, Truth Dromeo Rush as well. Okay, well, it didn't need Dromeo Rush. It killed Lanzusaurus anyway. The lazy Lanzusaurus didn't even get a hit. Didn't even land any damage. Right. Well, that was kind of one-sided, wasn't it? Let's see if round two will be just as one-sided. Right then, round two, and we're in the plane. Well, I'll, I'll call it the planes. Will Lanzusaurus get, get into gear, or will Edmontosaurus continue to dominate? But as I said earlier... The Lanzusaurus did slack off in the first round in its last matchup against the Iguanodon, so it could, you know, it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lanzusaurus decided to turn up. It's the Metal Wing. You know, I'm calling this is a lazy Lanzusaurus. It really is. It just. Oh, wow. Well, one more hit, and, this, this, and Lanzusaurus will even things up. Ooh, but no hit yet. Edmontosaurus getting the hit. Wow, this guy has really weak attacks. Is it tight? Have a tie. Ooh, can Edmontosaurus secure it? Get this done. A fawn whip will even things up. And all of a sudden, despite the metal wing from the Lanzusaurus, Edmontosaurus on the brink of winning. Oh, I've done it! Edmontosaurus takes out the lazy Lanzusaurus. Wow, very impressive display by Edmontosaurus. And Lanzusaurus too lazy to compete in my tournaments. And is therefore dumped out of this. Well, that's, a, in, that's an exciting way to conclude the, the quarterfinal round, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at our matchups for the semi-final. Well, they, they are our super six. We have Rugops going up against Alpha Sukumimus, Bromtikins going up against Udanoceratops, and the Orange Triceratops taking on Edmontosaurus. Some very intriguing matches here. Out of all of these, I'm not sure who the... F I'd say Bromtikins probably the favourite, but, well, he's got to face this guy, and he could end up facing this guy as well, so... Bromtikins... He's going to have his work cut out for him. But let's not underestimate these two either. Both super-powered crits. Edmontosaurus. I don't really see doing anything in particular. These two are... Well, I don't know. Edmontosaurus has a type of advantage. You never know. But yeah, that is our semi-final lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching this video. And until then, this is Streaming Gamer, signing out.